I was hauling freight to Dallas with a drop-off late that night. About a half a mile outside of town, I saw an old man with a kite. Well, I stopped my rig to watch him there and got out to walk around. I knew I'd walk out to where he was, over that rough, rocky ground. He was old, at least 84. Looked like he'd lived two lifetimes or more. His eyes so old and yet so bright, with lots of love to share. And the wind caressed the wrinkles in his face, put there by care. Threadbare and cold, yet in the wind he held a homemade kite. He laughed out loud as he watched it going up almost out of sight. Well, I asked him if he wasn't scared to let it out that way. And then I read the sorrow in his face when he turned to me to say, Young man, my grandson and I worked mighty hard to build this kite last week. And I made that boy a promise that today I had to keep. You see, I promised him that we would fly his kite today. But then he got sick and the angels came and they took my boy away. His old hands were almost blue with cold, yet they held that kite with care as he said, Son, I know that boy's watching me from someplace way up there. As the kite's rising high, he sees it in the sky. And looking down, I know he sees me here below. Yes, he knows I've never broke my word to him in all of his years. And then he had to turn his face away so I couldn't see the tears. Well, I got a heck of a big lump in my throat as I walked back to my rig and driving on down that highway, I thought a lot about the old man and the kid. I'll see lots of things, but I know I won't forget the sight of that grand old man, threadbare and cold, and his grandson's homemade kite. As the kite's rising high, he sees it from the sky. And looking down, I know he sees me here below.